As a tradition many kids look forward to, this week it's the annual extra special summer camp in Swan Valley. All the campers are 7 to 12 years old who have or have had cancer. Emily Vala was there. It's the first full day of Camp Magical Moments, and there's horseback riding going on, there's archery, there's crafts, and it's a little soggy, but these kids taught me they can lighten up even the darkest days. My first name is Olive. Olive is seven, and it's her first year at camp. Day one is going well. Tie-dye, paint rocks, and archery. I got the dinosaur and the... Head. head pain is something she's familiar with. I have a brain tumor. So it starts from your brain stem, goes all the way down, and it leaves water in your head. So they had to cut open my neck and put a tube in there to drain the water down to my belly. But for this week, she doesn't have to worry about that. We have a fantastic medical team who meets before camp to go over all the kids' charts. There's lots of paperwork. The parents have to fill out. We get consent for medical treatment. Outside the med shed, you wouldn't have any idea the battles these kids fight. There are more important battles to be had anyway. Sometimes we play soccer, tennis. I like the horseback riding. I love doing art and climbing trees. After the morning activities, it was time for lunch. United States submarine veterans named each camper an honorary submariner. They got a certificate and a shirt marked with dolphins to make it official. <laughs> Good job. Among all of the camp traditions, the connections are the best. I just love all the nice people here because it's one place that I can go and nobody makes fun of me for having for have had cancer and because they all understand. Each camper paints a rock that is planted in this rock garden, so they will always be a part of the Magical Moments family. Hmm. All of the camps throughout the year are free and are funded through donations.